your revelation. Somebody wants me to ask you if you think white people are going to heaven. Are uh, white? Yes, white people will be in heaven. But the thing is, what will they be doing in heaven? There's going to be a lot of people going to heaven and a lot of people that ain't going to heaven. Heaven is, heaven is a condition, it's rulership, it's not a place in the sky. You live in, the so-called black and Hispanic men, we living in hell right now. This is our hell. That's not true. That's absolute. So you don't think that, so our daughters are being locked in cages. There's a worse place than this. Where, where is that at? That's hell. That's hell. Where is that? Read, the, read about the lake of fire. fire. Read in Revelation. You believe the Bible, right? Yeah, I believe the Bible. Okay, it's, no, it's the worst of time has come. I know what God has done for me. Why, why should the Bible say that? We believe in the Bible. The book of Isaiah chapter 5 verse 13. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity. Our people, God's people, remember, he said my people, a specific people. When you read the, you read the Bible at all, sis? Yes, I do. When you read the Bible, who did Moses bring out of Egypt? The Israelites. The Israelites. When you read all throughout the Bible, who is God talking to in the whole Bible? Why do you think this is going on right now? No, let's stay. Let's deal one time at one topic at a time. Because God put him there. So but it was a reason why. So because listen, John. So John. When you read the Bible, Moses delivered the so-called Moses delivered the Israelites out of Egypt. There is no race. No. There Moses is only the human race. And if you are human, you will know everybody. Not, not by color. My people are going into captivity. So God says his people are going into captivity. You know what captivity is? When you go to work in chains. Who was in chains? We were. The so-called Mexicans was in chains picking fruits. The so-called blacks was in chains picking cotton. We were in chains. We are still in captivity. We stole the people God, on stolen God land. God is the God that gives Let me ask you a question. Why, let me, okay, you and Hispanic, right? Will. We could be this in, is the, in this captivity, is the problem in our captivity our in our community. By doing we'll drugs, see our own by drinking, and we want to by, ask, what by about hating, the by being what in about bondage, the white by man? negative thoughts. I got black and brown we, people we in cages right now. Stuff. Why are we worried about the white man? Our daughters are, in, we got brown babies in cages right now. Why are we worried about the white man? Why? Because it's they not need the white. Jesus Let me ask you a question. How many Jesus white Trayvon Martins do you know? What How many white Trayvon Martins do you know? What happened to love? How many Chinese Trayvon Trayvon Martins do you know? None. How many Arab Trayvon Martins do you know? But I can name numerous black and Hispanic men that are getting gunned down in these streets. So why are we worried about these other nations? These other nations don't give a damn about you. And the day that we wake up and realize it is the day that we'll rise up on our feet. Look how the way you're talking. Now let's read about it. If these are my shoes, do they belong to you? No, they my shoes. So God says he has a specific people. Read. Verse 14. Therefore, hell have enlarged herself. So we went into captivity and what enlarged itself? Hell have enlarged herself. Hell is captivity. To go to work and change is hell. To get gunned down in the streets because of your skin color is hell. When you were made to rule the earth. When you read the Bible, the so-called black and Hispanic and Native To hell. We're in and captivity. We're right now, hell is captivity. Hell is captivity. Get that in Deuteronomy 14 about wow. heaven. Now let's read God about what heaven is. We got to get that out of our minds that hell is a place underground with fire, with a red guy with a pitchfork that's poking you. No, Rojo Diablo walks up and down these streets and drive around in police cars. The so called white man is the devil that you read about. That's right. The so called white man is the devil that you read about in the Bible. The word just means this no it's the truth when that's our people the, the thing about it the truth hurts our people that's, that's the that's main evil. problem in our community we worry about everybody else nobody cares about us though when we start caring about ourselves it's the day that we wake up and realize who we are we have to love everybody i don't care what color they are we all come from the human race don't let the my brother you must, watch this let me show you i'm gonna show you how real this book is because you see how you've been sitting here listening I appreciate you, because you stopped when I asked you your name. You could have kept going, but you stopped and listened. But let me show you what's happening right now, because it's spiritual. It's something that's happening right now I want you to see. It's in the Bible. Mark chapter 4, verse 15. And these are they by the wayside where the word 
to sow. So sow means to plant. So these are they by the wayside. The wayside is here. So these are they by the wayside where the word is being sown, meaning the word is being sown to you. You given the understanding that you're not a Mexican, Latino, Hispanic. You're an Israelite. You guys told the people. The word has been given to you. Watch this. But when they have heard, so you listening, you hearing. Watch. Satan coming. Who? Satan cometh immediately. Who? Satan cometh immediately. The Bible is a real book. The devil don't want you to wake up and realize who you are. So guess what happened? Who came? Satan cometh immediately. Came immediately and whispered in your ear. Don't listen to that. God loves everybody. God loves everybody. That's not in the Bible. When you read the Bible, God chose somebody to love. They sinned against him and he went put them in captivity. Where are those people? The so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American are those people that God chose to love. We are God's children. We sinned against our father. He spanked us and put us in slavery. But when the word is being sown, who come? Satan cometh immediately. Just like that sister came in your ear and did what? Taking away the word and try to take everything that you heard. Read. That was sown in his heart. That was given into your mind. Everything that was given into your mind, saying ain't gonna come and tell you is not right. It's not true. Let me ask you a question. I want you to be a thousand percent honest. Name one thing I told you that up here that wasn't true. Name a lie that I told. Wow. The truth is like medicine. It's nasty. It hurt. But the thing is, it's the truth and it heals. You can't go around the truth. That's right. Revelation chapter 9, verse 13. I'm going to show you some truth real quick. Because like I said before, our people love to care about everybody else. And that's why our communities continue to be the way they are. Because we don't care about our own communities. Every community you go to where the so-called black Hispanic men are is impoverished. But then we go downtown to spend a... Why is it that 18th Street don't look like downtown Chicago? It's a lot of money down there. It's a lot of money here too, though. Why is it that it don't look like that? Because we destroy it. We care about everybody else except our own people. Our own people are our own worst enemy. Read. Revelation chapter 13, verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity. So the Bible says he that leadeth in it. Like she was reading Revelation. I'm going to show you what Revelation said. It said he that leadeth into captivity. Another word for captivity is slavery. The so-called Hispanic was led into slavery in 1492. They didn't just come over here and enslave you. They took some to Spain. They took some to Europe. The so-called blacks weren't the only ones that went into slavery on ships. When Christopher Columbus came over here, he got paid to come over here and take slaves and go back to Europe, to Britain, to England, to Spain. People is what they took. Your people. The Bible says what? He that leadeth into captivity. So those people that take people into captivity shall go into captivity. The so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans were taken into captivity by a specific nation of people. The Bible says that those people that took us into captivity shall what? Shall go into captivity. That's righteous judgment. That's righteous judgment. You can't go around enslaving 100 million Af so-called Africans, kill 100 million Native Americans and think it's okay. Drop bombs on the so-called Japanese, drop bombs on the so-called Arabs and think it's okay. It's not. You want to believe in karma. It's not karma. It's reaping what you sow. If I go around murdering people, guess what? Murder is what you'll get in return. If I go around killing people when I die, it's not going to be no coincidence. You reaping what you sow. So how is it that a nation can go around enslaving, killing, putting babies in cages and everything just be okay? Judgment coming to the earth. The reason why we out here on the street corner is to tell you, judgment coming to the earth. You wonder why you got coronavirus. Why is it coronavirus? The Bible warns you. God says when I'm coming back to the earth, I'm going to send plagues. It's going to be rumors of war. A lot of chaos going on. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 
144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.